Hey, this is um, part two of the uh, Delta NMR software, and we're going to look at uh, overlays now. So, this is our spectrum of MPG. If I go back to the structures, this is propylene glycol. And say we want to overlay the spectrum of dipropylene glycol. And so, this molecule has uh, two MPG units, but they're separated by this ether group here and not the ending on an alcohol here. The spectrum could get complicated because we've got different methyl groups in different positions. So this would be like a, a head to tail arrangement, but we could have head to head or tail to tail depending on the, how close those methyl groups are to each other. So probably ne don't need to get too involved with that, only that our spectra for DPG might be a little bit complicated. Okay, let's go back to the uh, spectrum. So this is MPG and we might let's overlay this um, using this feature here, this open data file. So if I open that and find the DPG file, which is this one. Uh, so there we are. So this way of overlaying it literally just puts one NMR spectrum above the other. So it's not really overlaying it as such, but it is a feature you might want to use. And you might want to zoom in so you so the spectra overlays uh, nicely one above the other. Um, so you could do that by using zoom. Um, so let's zoom from 4.5. So just click down the bottom there, 4.5, up to let's go to say 0 0.4, well, 0 0.5. Let's go there, 0.5, right, so zoom in there, and 4.5 on this one up to 0.5 on here, just about there. So we can, so we've got the same kind of X range on both of those now. And probably the best way of getting this data off is to use uh, print screen to do a screen dump and then you can uh, tidy those images up in something like uh, uh, paint, Windows Paint. Um, if you want to remove one of the um, layers uh, you can use this minus icon press minus that will just get rid of the last one you put on then you're back to MPG would as it, it starts. Good time to say about the so next to the minus button you've got the, the bin so the trash can button. Oh yes yeah. It's best to not use this unless you actually want to start again as it will remove everything from the screen and as there's not an undo button it would mean that you if you especially if you hadn't saved you'd have to start everything from the beginning. Yeah so don't, don't press that one. <laughs> Um, probably a better overlay is the one with the plus on it, the green plus, and this will literally overlay the two peaks. So if I click on the plus, again open up the DPG file, it will overlay the two uh, NMR spectra. Again you can use home to zoom out, or, and you can zoom in, you can do integrations of each uh, label peaks just like we've said in the previous video. And at the top left of the screen you'll see that there's two tabs and these relate to the two different spectra so the tab on the left is for the, the initial spectra so that's the one that's in green and the tab on the right is the, the second spectra that you added and this will be the one in brown. Uh, it's good to note here if you wanted to add more spectra you would just get more tabs and you'd see that the top colour Mm -hmm. So you've got the green and then the brown, that'll be the colour that is relating to that spectra. Yeah, okay. And again, let's let's just zoom in to the region of interest. So say zero roughly down to say five. And there's various things you can do here to you might want to um, offset them in some way. First of all, the colours are they're always green and gold, as uh, we just saw there. Um, but you might want to uh, offset them in some way. So if you click on this little hand icon, second one in, 
and if we hold down the alt key we can and then with the left mouse button move it up we can uh, shift it in Y and the, the bottom number on the the bottom left of the screen is the Delta X so if we kind of keep that as zero then we know it's literally hovering above the previous spectrum with no X shift so that's exactly so zero ppm that's just hovering above the MPG spectrum so we can just let go of that uh, so that might be one thing you might want to do. We can, again with the Alt button, you can shift that uh, in X as well as Y. I don't know why you want to shift uh, Y as well as X, but there might be a reason. Maybe because of the two Mephile groups, say on the far right there, you might not want them overplaying. You might want to see what kind of splitting pattern you've got. And so you might want to do a, a next shift as well. But we can return to uh, an X shift of zero just by positioning back to zero on the bottom number there. Okay, so we can do that. Um, there is a shift, um, so that was Alt. If we do uh, shift and uh, move with the left mouse button, we can shift them both in the uh, X Y position that's called panning, and you can't go up and down on the on the Y because we're using shift, which only does the X. What happens if you press both? If you press, if you don't press anything, if you just press the left mouse button and move, then they both move in this way. If you press, I don't know, shift and alt. I haven't tried that. Let's try, try that. Nothing. Um, I think it just, it just, just taking the alt that, one yeah. I think, it's interesting. I was hoping it would have held it so that as you pulled it up you could have held it hmm. at zero. Yeah, it's interesting. Anyway, have a play with that. Um, I think that's everything you need to know to shift uh, one layer around the, the other one. So it can be quite a useful thing. And again, to take the files offline, just use a screen dump, print screen to take the files off. And you can change colors and that in uh, Windows Paint, as I say, that's probably the best way. Okay, thanks for listening.